Hey everybody, how are you? So, in this quick little vlog, I'm going to answer a question I get put to me on occasion. What computers do I use to do my work? I am today an architect of code. I don't actively write code on a daily basis. I just don't have the time. That said, when it comes to coding, all computers are pretty much equal these days. Although you got the Linux guys will argue otherwise, and the Mac guys will argue otherwise, and the Windows guys will argue otherwise, uh, otherwise. And there are uh, merits to everybody's arguments. But I can tell you from my years of being a developer, I've worked with Linux and well, a long time ago. I worked a lot with Windows, different flavors of Windows, and I worked with Mac. And a lot of it is personal taste, which you prefer to do, which your broader computer requirements are. So I'll give you a quick run through of what I do, very quick, what I have. So I have the Surface Pro, which is the uh, hybrid Windows tablet, Windows 10. It, uh, when I got this two years ago, this is the Windows Pro 4. When I got this two years ago, it was an amazing computer. Uh, it works so well. You got this little flip screen, a little flip uh, stand so you can hold it at any angle. You got the uh, keyboard, which comes off, of course. Great device. But with all the bloody updates that Windows 10 gives you, it's, like, it's almost like every three minutes they update the thing. And sometimes it would work really well with the windowing would work fantastic. You drag and drop and bing, bang, boom is fantastic. Other times, not so good. This, I don't know if it's a it function, the problem I've been having with this in terms of the windowing, windowing features. I don't know if it's a problem so much of Windows 10 or more, more the firmware on this device. I don't know. I haven't heard otherwise. But I have to say Windows 10 is the best version of Windows I ever used. I've been using it since 3.1. Windows 3.1, and this is, has a lot of merits, it has a great webcam, and uh, it's very fast. So I bought this because I needed to produce content on Windows 10, because most people still use Windows. So I produce my courses, a lot of the courses on Windows 10, just to make people feel comfortable. That said, and as you know, if you've done my programming courses, you know that whether you're using Windows, Mac, or Linux, doesn't matter if you're programming in, you know, HTML5, CSS, well, not programming, but if you're writing HTML5, CSS3, programming JavaScript, Python, PHP, SQL, it doesn't matter what computer you use as personal taste. They all work fine. But I bought this to do demos on Windows and because there's this one design app that I use, uh, a piece of software for uh, graphics creations that I use on occasion, something very few people use but it's the best one I've ever seen, much better than Adobe products in my opinion, but only runs on Windows. So that's one of the reasons why I got this computer. But this is a two-year-old machine and it's plenty fine. Windows Pro, this is the um, Surface Pro 4. It works fantastic. Uh, you could use this uh, to program the, the next Facebook. So the other computer that I use, of course, is the MacBook Pro. This is the Pro, the 2016, with this useless, useless touch bar on the top here, which nobody ever uses. That's a total failure. And uh, yeah, I use this. This is my general computer because it's uh, super fast, quad core, because I like Mac OS, because it's, I feel it's just a, it's a more stable operating system. I never have crashes. I can keep this running for four years without having to restart, and it's fine. And uh, it works really good. I edit 4K video on this without a problem. And so this is my daily driver, I would say. But, you know, as I said, these days computers are so fast, so capable. It's, it's up to you which one you want to use. And you could use a five-year-old computer and you could be writing amazing code. Because remember, Facebook was written 10, what, 10 years ago? Using 10-year-old computers. Work fine, right? The days of having to upgrade your computer every two years like we used to, not important unless you're doing maybe some high, high end uh, 3D work or something. You know, other than that, psh, no. So yeah, I, I use both Windows and Mac most of the time, 90% of the time I'm using my Mac simply because of the type of work that I do. But I also use this one for some spe specialized app and occasionally when I want to do, when I want to do a demo on Windows. And that's about it. 
So that's what I use in 2018 to run my business. Well, yeah. at least the personal part of my business. My developers, they're Windows people. No, excuse me, they're Mac people, generally speaking. A lot of developers prefer Mac, partly because it's, it's kind of a sexy looking computer, but so are a lot of the Windows machines. Very nice, you know, and this is not exactly, it's not the nicest one out there. But a lot of them like using Apple uh, Mac computers because Mac is actually free BSD Linux, uh, Unix rather, under the hood. So you have all the command lines, all the Linux and Unix command capabilities built right into the core of uh, Mac OS. You don't have to install anything. That being said, it's super easy to put Unix command lines. I think it's WinCP. CP or something like that. I forget the name of the app, but it's super easy to set up your Windows. It takes about five minutes that it can interface with a Unix-based uh, server. No problemo. So, yeah. But anyway, a lot of people just like the Apple. Developers like the Apple, but it's not necessary. A lot of developers like Windows. Everybody's doing .NET, C Sharp .NET. It's all Windows, amongst others. Anyway, there you go.